100 pies a day in Zazzy's. That's a fat slice. I come along with Canarsie, Brooklyn. I ain't playing. If you guys want to get what Meg Ryan had. Yes! Yes! I'll have what she's having. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another another episode of Marco's World NYC and today we're in the Lower East Side and I'm going to show you the top staple foods of New York City. Number one on the list, it's pizza. It's such an ingrained part of our culture. If New York City was known for one thing, no, it's not the New York Knicks. It's New York style pizza. We're here at Zazzy's Pizzeria in the heart of the Lower East Side on Orchard Street and the thing I love the most about Zazzy's is that it's a mix between a New York style pizza and a Neapolitan style pizza. It's a hybrid. Zazzy's gets their flour and their tomatoes imported from Naples, Italy. And of course, like any other, us New Yorkers, we perfected it. So let's go. I think right now we're gonna get the cheese slice. That's just the New York style right there. We're gonna get a Sicilian, and you cannot forget about the pepperoni. You can tell it has that Neapolitan crust, but the crispiness of New York style pizza, Zazzy's. There's nothing more beautiful than watching a pizza get made. I don't know what's more beautiful than that. You could do it in any states, but it's in New York City. That's how you know it's gonna be the best. How many pies do you usually bang out a day? 100 pies a day in Zazzy's. So I just met a local guy named James, lives on Orchard Street. Uh, James, why Zazzy's? They make a great slice. Melvin or Marvin, great pizza chef. Honestly, the crust here is something. It kind of reminds me of naan. It does taste like It tastes a lot like naan. And I wish these were my slices. These are Marco's slices, but these slices are, they're something. And I, I really like this place a lot. Great people, great ambiance. So, you know, hit it up. Zazzy's is the place. Yo, it's funny you say about the naan, but this is the crust is more of a Neapolitan style pizza. Oh, is it? That's the beauty of, of Zazzy's, I feel like, because it's a mix between the Neapolitan and New York style. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very oh, much. Man. And yo, that's the beauty of New York City. Uh, you meet people through food, and this is why I do this. Here's the last question. How do you hold your pizza? Can you oh, show, okay. show, show them for the video. So this, is, this is how, you, this is how you, you do the, it's called the flop, the New York City flop. Here we go. Okay. And that is, look at that. That's a good flop right that, there. That's a good flop. Boom. Oh, now, if you lift up the, the, the nose of that, you might be able to get it to stand. You're going to have to take a big bite because it's a big flop. So no, I'll tell you, though. It's those, it's those pepperonis. Those are some good pieces of pepperoni. Look at that. Good slice, guys. Come on, get your Zazzies. Thank you, Thanks. Man. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. First time at Zazzies, what would you give it out of a 10? Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. That's a fat slice. Normally when you get a really crispy uh, doughy pizza, the bottom's usually burnt. This one's still so crispy, but the dough is still not burnt anywhere. It's a solid slice. It's perfection. Big shout out to Dom. He does it right. A wise man once told me, it is all about the oven for pizza. The oven they got back there, kill it. 10 out of 10 for me, amazing. Everybody who's watching, come to Zazzy's Pizza and sky's the limit for Zazzy's. Everybody stop by. On our next stop, we have the most iconic deli in the world, Katz's Deli, where they're known for their pastrami on rye. It's probably the best in the world. What's came to New York City more than pastrami on rye? It's been a staple here in the Lower East Side since 1888. It was brought up by Eastern European Jews who migrated to New York City and they brought their culture with them. Katz's Deli has been here well before the New York subway system. Talk about old. They're famously known for their tender pastrami that will make your leg shake, as well as their corned beef that's mouth-watering. This is how you know New York City is back. We've been waiting online for almost 25 minutes. There's a line packed from the door, probably to the block right now. I'm about to eat my, my hand off. I cannot wait to eat Cat's Deli. So I'm here with Ali, another local New York City guy. I overheard you saying that you don't like the cats in Brooklyn. What's the, what's the difference? The main difference is how you serve, and you also don't get a chance to taste the meat and tell them how much fat or non-fat you want yes. on the cut of we the meat. We need the free sample when we go to Cat's Deli. And to be honest, the rye bread could have tasted yeah, a little better. Yeah, it's fresh. Just they do here. such a big turnover, it's gonna be fresh. Yo, 
Why I come all the way from Canarsie, Brooklyn. BK, there we go. Here we I've go. been here for years. I ain't playing. You're getting four. Four sandwiches. That's going to be What's about wrong? 200 bucks. Wait, are you both going to eat it all in one sitting? What's, what's the no, deal? No, no, we're not together. Oh, all right. Even See, though we look good together. You both do. Just saying. I know a pastor that can marry you guys. I'm just saying, you know. Hey, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Just saying. 48 years, I have to lose a thousand. Oh wait, I'm Italian. Yeah. Okay. You get the time? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I bet you should give me fifteen hundred dollars every two weeks. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wow. Why are you gonna fight a man like that? Nowhere. <laughs> New York City, baby. New York City. That's it. They take you That's to a pizza and order. Baby, New York. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. 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 New York City. Oh, that's so, oh, all right. With the X. Here we go. Any first time here? Oh shit. Go with the Charlie on ride, make sure they have mustard on both sides. Don't mix it with corned beef. It's like mixing lamb and tuna fish together. Just, it's a bad mix. Be honest, I don't care. Man, I like this. I feel like the seafood. I heard a lot of good things about this place, man. I gotta try. I can't bring my friends up from California. Oh, from California we got. All right, here we go. The Charlie on ride with the Dr. Brown's root beer. That's what you gotta get. Dr. Brown's. Dr. Brown's. Cream soda. Dr. Brown's cream soda, okay? Okay. Make sure you get your glizzy too in there. Glizzy? Get the glizzy in there. I'm just saying, yo. Doesn't get more New York City than that. Like my man said, that's it. From the from the BX to California to Brooklyn to Manhattan, this is New York City for you, baby. Everybody wants to talk. Everybody wants to talk. That's why I love New York City. Like I keep on saying, you meet people through food, through culture, Basketball, everybody loves to talk. Not every New Yorker is nasty. Remember that. The first rule of the Cats, don't lose a ticket. They get really mad and upset at you. They might actually throw you a beating if you lose a ticket, so I'm gonna tape it on me, actually. I'm gonna tape it on me. As I'm looking around, I feel like Cats Deli is more like a museum. I'm getting like really museum vibes. You know, and it's also like an elementary cafeteria. That's the most unique thing about it. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. All right, so I need a pastrami on rye with mustard on both sides. When you eat pastrami in New York City, you only get it on rye. You don't get it on the Italian hero, just on rye bread. This is the best part is that they give you free samples. In the Brooklyn one, they don't give you free samples, so this is it, let's go for it. Pretty lean, no fat on that. Absolutely amazing, it melts in your mouth. Best pastrami in the world. I don't want to care what nobody says. The best in the world. Without you guys working here, bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. Thank you so much, man. Take care, all right? This is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that. All right, guys, so we're finally sitting down after maybe, what, Vinny? Maybe 30 minutes now? There is some structural damage to the pastrami on Riot right now, but we're gonna break right through it. Um, you know, look, look, just look at this. It's tender, it's melting in your mouth. It, it's just everything that you want this sandwich to be. It is, and it's just, it's amazing. Every time, I've been to a lot of pastrami places in the city. There's nothing like Cat's Deli. Just its rich history to its pastrami, to the people here, to the culture that it created. If you guys want to get what Meg Ryan had. Yes! 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 Oh! Oh! I'll have what she's having. Get the pastrami and rye bread, and I swear to God, your legs are going to be tingling and probably moaning. One quick useless Marvel fact about Cat's Deli. You know, I have to have one useless fact here. They go through 10,000 pounds of meat weekly. That's how you know that they do it right, that it is the best in the world. Not Marco's world, it's the best in this world. You know the food is good when Vinny hadn't spoken in five minutes. <laughs> He's in full caveman mode and I love it. It's not the full New York City pastrami on bar experience. Unless you get the Dr. Brown's original cream soda, I'm telling you, it hits different with the pastrami. You have all walks of life coming in. New York City is back, and they do it really good here. Pastrami on Rye, my favorite staple food in New York City. On to the next. So on our next spot, we have Rust and Daughters, which is a staple in the Lower East Side, probably a staple in New York in general. And today, we're here to try their staple food, Bagel and Lox. So unfortunately, we could not go inside Russ and Daughters. Really cool aesthetics they have in there. And of course, they have their most famous bagel and locks. I gotta say, 
the bagel. I didn't want to get it toasted at all. He actually toasted it. I'm like, you don't toast a good bagel. I'm surprised that they don't know that in there, Russ Doris. But anyways, it's well balanced right here with the locks. Usually they give you such little locks, but in here, they give you a lot of locks. They give you the onions, even the cream cheese is balanced. This is a well balanced locks on a bagel right here. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, there's a lot of history in Russ and Daughters. It's been open since 1914. It actually started out as a push cart. All right, buddy, so I'm going in for the kill right now. I'm pretty stuffed. We had pizza, we had pastrami on rye, we had pickles, we had Dr. Brown soda, but here we go. Wow, that is a good bagel. Really good lox, probably the best lox I've ever had. This is the first time ever having Brussels and Daughters. I've been living here my whole entire life, my first time ever having Brussels and Daughters. I actually feel embarrassed that this is my first time, but oh my God, this is amazing. What I find so interesting is this, the history of the staple of, of the foods that are on these next two blocks. We have cats, we have Brussels and Daughters. They've been out here over a hundred years. I don't think you find that in a lot of places in the world, but you find it in New York City in the Lower East Side. Yo, this is really good. So with these staple foods of New York City, I'm gonna say one thing, what I think why they're so good, all these foods. It's the water. It's how they cook the pizza, it's a yeast. It's how the bagels are made. That kettle boiled in water. The water has all minerals in it that you won't find in like Alaska, Nebraska, Louisiana, Tennessee, New York City. It's all about the water and that's why it's the best. So guys, we went from pizza to pastrami on rye to a bagel with lots of cream cheese. So stay tuned for part two of the most iconic foods in New York City. Everybody, I hope you like the video. Like, comment, subscribe down below. I appreciate it. Peace out.